In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Spark video to create a book trailer. So if you are on the Chromebook, up in the top left corner, you'll see something called Chinook bookmarks. It won't look identical to mine, but you can click on the Chinook bookmarks and then you'll have a list of bookmarks, one of them being Adobe Spark. You can click on it. Once you click on it, if you have never created an account, you will click on Start Now for free. And then up here, you'll just click on Sign Up for free. If you are a teacher of grade 8 and under, you will set up your first name and your last name as your class. So let's say this was grade 1 at Centennial. I would maybe just put like that. And then my email address, I would use my own email address. So you as a teacher would use your own email address. And then your password, if we set them all the same, then you won't forget it. Do capital C for Chinook, and then 211. So Chinook 211 with a capital C. Um, your date of birth, it can be your own birth date. Um, it needs to be at least 2003 or later or earlier. And you don't have to check off this first one here, but you do have to check off I have read and agree to the terms of service. And then you just press sign up. Once you press sign up, it will give you this message. If you would like to receive the Adobe Spark newsletter, check that off. Otherwise, just press continue. And then when you get to this point, you will have the choice to create a post, a page, or a video. Your post is like a poster or social media graphics. Your page is like a photo essay or a presentation. And your video is pictures and audio, text, all combined together to make a little video. Um, to make the book trailers, we use the video. So now it will take you to a point where it wants you to put in a title. You do not have to put in a title now, but you will be required to put in a title when you save it if you don't do it now. So I'm just going to name mine Hot Rod Hamster Book Trailer and then press Next. Now, if you want, you can choose a template that's already pre-created. As you can see, there's all these different ones. But the one that we're going to choose is Make Up My Own for our book trailer. So I'm going to pick this one. So now as it's getting it ready, we will just wait. This little screen here just shows you that this is a tutorial. If you don't want to see the tutorial every single time you log in, make sure that you check off this box at the corner, don't show the tutorial again, and then click OK, I'm ready. Now you have your page ready to go. So to add something on your main, on your first page, you just click on this plus sign. So let's say I click on the plus sign and here I want to add text. So I click text. Now I just start typing in the middle. So I'm going to type in hot rod hamster book trailer by Lisa B. Notice that as the more text that you get in, the, the smaller the text gets. So it automatically will reformat for you. Now if I want to put audio on this one, this microphone button here, I just press the microphone down and I have to keep it held down the whole time while I'm recording. So I'm just going to do it now. I'm going to press the button down. Hot Rod Hamster Book Trailer by Lisa Bender. Notice that as I was recording, 
I kept the button held down even after I was done the recording. That was because I don't want it to feel too rushed. So now if I want to listen to just this slide, I can click on the play button right here. So if I want to re-record it, I just press on this button again and it will let me re-record. If I want to delete the narration altogether, I just click on where it says seven seconds right here. I click that on and I click on remove narration. I'm going to leave it for now. So now I want to add in another new page. So over here down at the bottom left corner, there's a page with a plus sign. So now I click on add a new page. So now I have page one, page two. Right now my layout is just one item on the screen. So now I'm going to change that. I'm going to go over here, over to the top right corner to layout, and I can have two things. One of the things I'm going to do is an icon. So in the one box, I can click on the plus sign and then I get icon. Over on the right side, now I can search for an icon. Here I'm going to search for a hamster. The icons are like stickers. They're just little graphics. So I'm going to find a cute little hamster. And if I don't like it, I can just find another one. And you just click on it until you get the right one. And now in this other box, I am going to put in a photo. So I'm just going to click on photo. And here I'm going to click on find photos. When you click on find photos or when you click on icons, um, they search Creative Commons. And what Creative Commons is, is it searches free pictures for you to use. There we go, hamster car. There's my hot rod hamster. So now I'm going to narrate on this page. So again, I just press in the button. This hamster wanted to go in the race with the rest of the animals. So he got himself a hot rod and he raced against all the other animals. Notice that it went up to 11 seconds. It said, keep it short. It went too long. So I need to rethink that because I don't want it to be more than probably seven or eight seconds. Otherwise it gets a little long. This hamster wanted to be like the rest of the animals and race with them. There, now it's five seconds. That's more manageable. Now my next slide, I'm going to add in another page. And I'm going to change my layout over here to a thing and a caption. Now this time I am going to find a photo. So maybe this should have been for the front of my presentation and I can rearrange it too. But maybe I want to look online for a picture. So what I'm going to do is up on the top here, these are different tabs. I'm going to click on a new tab. When I open up a new tab, I can just search for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to search for hot rod hamster. And I'm going to go to images. And so here, here's my hot rod hamster. What I'm going to do, if I'm using the Chromebook, I'm going to press two fingers on the touchpad and click on the picture. That will bring up the right click menu. Okay, so two fingers on your touchpad will bring up the right click menu. Then I'm going to go down here to save image as. When you're saving the image, it will pop up for your Google Drive and it will look similar to this, but you'll also have something else called downloads and that's where it's going to be saving the picture is into your downloads. It will have a random name for it at the bottom of the screen. If you rename the photo, make sure that you keep .jpg on the bottom. That means that it is a picture. Okay, so again, we just use two fingers on the picture to right click, 
go down to save image as, and then you're going to be saving it in your downloads, or you can choose where you want to save it in your drive. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my Adobe Spark. So I'm going to click on the Adobe Spark page or tab. Now I'm going to click on, I'm on my third page here. I'm going to click on photo. Now I'm going to press upload photo. Here I'm going to browse. So you'll be looking in your Google Drive and you will find the spot that says downloads because that is likely where you did that. Find your picture and then press open. And then it will put your picture in for you. Now that I got my picture in, I think, oh, maybe this is a little bit small. So what I can do is I can go to my layout and I can say I want a full screen photo. Now it's zoomed in too far. So if I just click once on my picture, there's a zoom. I can zoom out of the picture. Once I zoom out, I can actually move the picture around a little bit. Okay, so you have to use the zoom in, zoom out, then you can move it around. And then if you want to change the layout again, you sure can. So it's up to you how you want that to go. Okay, so, so far we've put in pages, we've put in text, we've put in icons, we've put in pictures from Creative Commons, and we've put in our own picture for, um, that we found on the internet. There's another way that you can put a picture in, and it's using the camera app on the Chromebook. And if you would like to use the camera app on the phone book, you, or on the Chromebook, you can find um, instructions with screenshots on how to do that. You will take the picture, and then you'll have to save it into your downloads, and then to put it into this, when you click on photo, you will click on upload photo and you will get it from your downloads. So again, I will have instructions on how to actually use the camera on the Chromebook. But um, once you have it saved in your downloads, then it's the same way as how we got this picture. And now if you want to reorganize your slides, you can just click and hold down the touchpad and then drag the slide to where you want it to go, okay? Or there's three dots on a slide. You can duplicate the, duplicate the slide, you can play it from here, or you can delete it. Something that the kids have fun with up here is on the themes. And what we can do on the themes is there's a bunch of different themes. And if I click on one, it will change the look for the whole show. So, and once it's changed, then the other thing you can do is click on music. Now, if you want to preview the music, just click beside the word and a little play button will appear. If you click on the word, it's just going to apply that music without previewing it. So let's say I want to do this one. Now I'm not sure if that one would fit. So this is where you talk to the kids about what music is, what music would fit your story. So mine may be uplifting, maybe Trek for them. I don't know. I'd have to go through them and figure out which one works for a race. So let's say I decide to go with the wandering guitar. Now I have my theme, I have my music, I have my pictures, I have my text, and I have my audio in. So now I can preview the whole thing. I click on the play button down in the bottom left corner, and now we'll play this as a little movie. Notice that my first slide was way too fast. So what I can do is I can X out of this and I can come back on here. Click back on my first one. It's only on for two seconds. And if I don't want to say anything, then I click on the 2S and I make it longer. Same with this one. 
that well, I narrated on that one. So again, now I can click on the play button. Now that it's done, I have two options. I can press the X and keep on editing, or I can click on the share. So now here, the Hot Rod Hamster book trailer, if I want to rename it, I can put in my title, a different title. If I want a subtitle, I can do that. Now I also can pick a category. You have to pick a category, so you pick education. The author, if this is a student, we don't want the full last name, or we can just uncheck the author from showing up. Okay, so I would either say Lisa B, or I would put LB, or I would just not even include it. Make sure that students do not click on Adobe can feature my project on their website, because then it's not searchable. And now click on more options. So here are the photo credits. It puts in the credits for the photos and the music that is built right in. But I got one of my pictures not from the Creative Commons. I got it from Google Images. So I would have to put in a personal credit here. So I still have my tab open. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to visit the page. So now I'm going to copy that link up here. Remember, right click is to touch on the touchpad or control C to copy and then control V to paste. Now I'm going to create my link. And what this will do is it will create a link that you can send to parents, that you can post on the book review um, website on the learning resources. So now here is your shareable link. All you have to do is click on copy. Now if you're on the Chromebook and you're logged on as you, you can just click on email and it will pop your Gmail or your Chinook Google Mail account open and you can send it that way. And uh, yeah, otherwise you can just click copy and then go paste it on that learning resources page or paste it in another email to send. You can also download the video as well if you need to.